hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are eating breakfast food i know i've already done breakfast food before on my channel actually probably a couple times but honestly this is my favorite type of food my head is kind of cut off i'm sorry i'm trying um got a brand new light um so everything might look a little weird i'm also in a different location so let me know what you think about that um if you hear noises it's because I had to lock the dogs out because they would literally just crowd around me and sit here and beg for the food and that would not be cute in the video. So so today I just made this, um, I, I kind of wanted to be like a McDonald's breakfast because honestly McDonald's has my favorite, favorite breakfast food. So I just made three hash browns right here and then I have two breakfast um croissant sandwiches with sausage and egg and cheese and that's just the jimmy dean brand that i usually um get and then i should have some jelly somewhere okay so i have i have this strawberry jelly from a mcdonald's and then i have some ketchup so let's start eating because i am hungry and i do not want this video to be too long i do have somewhat of a story time for you guys i know a lot of youtubers do story times um, my life isn't that interesting, so that's why I never do story times. Um, but I kind of have one today. Should I put this right here? No, I'm going to put it in the back. Ketchup. And then I also have some jelly. And then in case I need more, I have some more jelly right here. I love, um, like, condiments on my food. Like, oh my god, like, I love sauces and everything so much. So I love having an option of having sweet and salty condiments with my food. Okay, we'll put that right here. Can you guys see everything? Tell me what you think about this setup. I think it looks cute. Okay, let's start eating. So here is breakfast sandwich, just egg, sausage, cheese. Yeah, all that tapping is the dogs. They're like, they want this food. So have some ketchup. Hash brown. Mm. <clears throat> so good. I just have some Diet Coke in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of strawberry jelly on this. I love strawberry jelly. I literally just cooked everything. So it's like super hot. Mm, mm, mm. Who loves breakfast food? Comment down below your favorite thing to eat for breakfast. Um, I love breakfast sandwiches. Always have. That's why I love McDonald's breakfast so much. But I love all types of breakfast food. Okay. So. I hope they do not start barking. <laughs> So, me and my boyfriend, well, specifically me, I love going to buffets, Chinese buffets. Um, I love the food there. Probably not the best quality. Probably not even real Chinese food. I'm so sorry. So, my favorite Chinese food place actually shut down over here. So, I was craving Chinese food one day. So, we went to go, we went to go look for another place to start eating. It's 
So, we looked one up, and the ratings were pretty good. So we decided to just take the chance and go. This is so good, guys. So, when we got there, we were, first of all, we walked in. You know how there's usually a person at the front? to um, tell you where, take you to where you want to sit down. So you um, usually, so usually you do that. And, um, but the lady, we walked up to her and she looked right at us and then she didn't say anything. She literally just like stared at us, looked up at us, looked back down and kept doing what she was doing. And it looked like she had like, I don't know, she was getting change or something but she could at least been like you know like one minute or um give me a second or something just really i don't know i'm really big on service so so yeah so um then my boyfriend pointed to a sign and said oh come here and wait to be seated so i was like okay so we walked over to the sign and then the lady who was carrying the chain to had ignored us when we came in. She walked up to the side and she was like, oh, oh, how are you today? And, and um, come with me so I can seat you. Like, she didn't say anything to us when we were sitting, standing right there at the front. Obviously, we'd never been to the place before. We wouldn't just be standing there. But when we went to the side, then she told us where to sit down. <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever. So then, you know how you walk past the buffet to go to your seat? We did that, and oh my god, the place we usually go to has so many different choices, because it's a buffet. You should have a whole bunch of different options. This place had literally four different stands. Have you ever been to a buffet, you know what I'm talking about? They have like those um, stands with like food in the center of each of them. The one we used to go to had probably like seven. This place had four. Just four. So I was like, okay. Um, whatever. The food might be super good. So let's not complain. And then we sat down. Um, she asked for our drinks. They sat us in the very back. And for some reason, and the, the waitresses, like, just stared at us. And they, it wasn't just us. They stared at everybody. But, like, that's so weird. They literally just stood there staring at us eat, staring at us get our food. There was a party going on next to us. And they were staring at them, um, seeing happy. Like, I don't know. It was just weird. It was just really weird. Here's some ketchup. Here's my other one. So we went up to get our food. Ladies were staring at us. And tell me why the food was cold. It was cold. Which isn't uncommon at a buffet. But they literally had people. It looked like waitresses. It looked like even like the head owner or something because she was dressed nicer walking around looking at people get their food and looking at the food so how do you have that you're literally looking at the food and your food is still cold like you should be telling people like oh we need to get fresh food out here we got our food sat down food was decent honestly not the best I 
I'm so sorry if you hear those dogs. <laughs> they are going crazy because of the food, which is why I did not want them in here because they would have been going crazier. But I didn't want to put them outside because it's cold, but oh my God, like they will not stop tapping. <laughs> So, we were ignored, stared at, food was nasty, but it gets worse. <laughs> Guys, I love Chinese buffets. I really, really do. One of my favorite places to eat. But this really, like, I'm traumatized. <laughs> like, I don't even want to go back to a Chinese buffet. Like, I just want to order takeout or something. But I would love to do a Chinese buffet mukbang. If you want to see that, put it in the comments. Anyway, definitely not at this place though. <laughs> so, the worst part, we were, you know, just enjoying our food, trying to enjoy our food. My boyfriend is very picky about what he eats. So, he pretty much didn't even eat anything. I'm not super picky, and we had already we were we were already gonna have to pay, so I tried to just enjoy it as best as I could. But he really didn't didn't eat anything at all, pretty much, because the food was that bad. So once we were done we weren't even done we weren't even done with our food we were about to go up and get dessert right because i looked up the reviews and i remember a lot of people saying the dessert was good so i had finished eating pretty much and i was like oh come at least try the dessert with me let's see if the dessert is good And right before we got up, a waitress zooms in, right? And, oh, I forgot to tell you guys this part. Okay, this video's getting kind of long, so I'm hurry up. They rush to get your plates, to take your um, plates away from you. Literally, I was getting up to get, like, my second plate of food, and the waitress bumped into me, rushing to get my plate off the table. Like, what? Like, they weren't busy or anything. I have no idea. This place was just so weird. So anyway, we we're about to go get up our dessert plate and the waitress rushes in with the check, which is fine, but then she just stands there, hands it to us, oh, how was your food? Was everything good? Mind you, she wasn't even the waitress that was refilling our drinks. That was some other girl. She was an older lady. She's like, oh, how was your food? Was everything good? Hasn't said anything to us beforehand, but now want to talk to us. We were like, oh, it was fine. And then she just stood there. She didn't move. And me and my boyfriend looked at each other because we were sitting across from each other like, what is going on? And she just stood there. And I was like, oh, do you want us to pay now? Like, we are, I'm not done eating. I was like, I told her that. I was like, I'm not done eating. I'm not done. She was like, oh, no rush, no rush, no rush. But yeah, you can pay now. I was like, <laughs> okay. So my boyfriend gets his card out, gives it to her. And I was supposed to pay for the meal because I was the one that wanted to go out to eat. But because he didn't eat anything and it was so much, it's like, Excuse me, it's like eleven dollars for like a little buffet or something. I'm gonna put my hash brown inside of this. <laughs> there we go. So he felt bad, so he offered to pay, and I was like, "Oh, okay." 
And the waitress looks at me and she's like, oh, don't worry, you can pay the tip. Excuse me? <laughs> I looked at my boyfriend like, what did she just say? So she takes his check, takes, I mean, takes his card, goes, I guess, to um, pay for the meal. At this point, I was shook. <laughs> shook. Never. I have been to a many Chinese buffets in my life. Because I love eating there. Usually the waitress is refill your drinks. Ask you what you had. Politely go away. Come hand you the check. With your fortune cookies. Don't say anything. And I'm fine with that. This lady... So she comes back and she just stands there again, staring at us. And I, I'm shook at this point. <laughs> I'm shook. And <laughs> she, she, um, sits there and looks at us, hands us a pen. And she's like, oh, tip, tip $5. I'm not trying to be racist. That's what she said. Tip $5. And laughs. And I'm like. This did not just happen. <laughs> this this does not just happen. This lady did really did not just try to tell us how much we had to tip her. Like it was mandatory that we tip her first of all, and that it was mandatory that we tip her five no less than five dollars, even though she wasn't even the the our waitress. guys so yeah so she said tip five dollar and my boyfriend looks at me he's he's as like shocked as I am he's like oh how much should I tip her and don't get me wrong we are good tippers really like um even if we don't have the money, we try to tip good. Like, because we I know how hard waitresses must probably work. It's a job I probably could never do because of my personality, honestly. And it's probably super hard. So we try to tip good wherever we go, especially if the service is really good. To be honest with you, I never tip at buffets, ever. I probably tipped at a buffet once in my life. And that was at the old buffet that we used to go to that had closed down because I knew the girl. I had known her forever because I had been going there forever. She was a great waitress, so I tipped her. But I don't think you should need you need to tip at buffets, honestly. If I'm wrong, if you tip at buffets, leave it in the comments. But we usually don't, to be completely honest. Oh my god, this video is 20 minutes long. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, so my boyfriend's like, how much should I tip her? And I look at him, and to be completely honest with you, I wanted to say tip her a dollar. Tip her a dollar. But I was like, give her $3, give her $3, just cause, I don't know, just cause, just, just put $3 on there. So he tips her $3. Um, she takes it, never see her again. After we get out, we get up and get our dessert. Didn't see her for the rest of the time. Didn't say, have a nice day. She's disappeared. I was shook. I was really shook. I could not believe that. Have you guys ever had that happen to you at a Chinese buffet? I felt like that was incredibly rude, you know? Like, the food wasn't great. We were ignored from the start. People were staring at us to get our food. I didn't think that... I really didn't even want to pay for the food. But we did. And I especially didn't want to give the waitress a tip who I had never seen before. Who, her only job... Is to refill our drinks, and she wasn't even the lady that refilled our drinks. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to end this video right here. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Am I just overreacting? <laughs> is this normal behavior at buffets? Am I just used to my other buffet that sadly closed down? Let me know what you guys think. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment what you want me to eat next. Um, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this video. 
And yeah, I will see you guys. I'm sorry. The dogs are just, can you hear them going crazy back there? <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.